two, identify each half reaction below as either oxidation or reduction. And then we have our equation here. So we have H2, which will yield H+. Now, whenever we're dealing with oxidation or reduction, reduction oxidation, or redox, which is R-E-D-O-X, so it's reduction and oxidation squished together, we always think of the mnemonic, Leo the lion says grr. Leo is an easy way to remember that whenever you lose electrons, L-E, you're undergoing oxidation. On the flip side, if you're gaining electrons, G-E, that's reduction. Losing electrons, if you're losing negatives, right, because remember, electrons are negative, you're always going to become more positive. On the flip side, if you're gaining negatives, right, electrons are negative, you're becoming more negative. If you have an equation, the easiest way is to see where those electrons are. If your electrons are on your product side, that's always oxidation. You lost them. But if your electrons are on the reactant side, that's reduction. You gain those. But now I'm looking at my equation and where are the electrons, right? There's no E negative on the right side or there's no E negative on the left side. So we have to put them there. So first we got to find out what the charges are for each individual hydrogen. Now, the first thing is, is to make sure that your equation is balanced, right? You have two H's here. You only have one H here. So I'm just going to put a two in front of the H plus. Now, just know that any time that you have diatomics, so H2, N2, O2, F2, any diatomic, that element in this case is hydrogen, that will always have a zero charge because there's no charge in the upper right-hand corner, that's zero. And two times what charge gets you to zero as a total charge is zero. Now on the other side, we do see a plus charge. That means that it's a plus one. And remember, to get the full charge, you always take your coefficient and you multiply it by that charge. So two times a plus one is an overall plus two. Now we're going to use these charges to uh, put your electrons. And remember, since electrons are negative, you can only put your electrons to the more positive side and bring the number down. You can never go the opposite way. So you always want to bring that number down. So since plus two is bigger than zero, I'm going to add my electrons on my product side. And you could already guess, you know, you already know the answer by just putting the electrons here, but let's just put the total number, right? From two to zero, if you think of a number line, there are two slots away. So I had to add two electrons to go from plus two to plus one to zero. And now since my electrons are on my product side, electrons always on the product side is oxidation. And there is your answer. We got an oxidation here. Awesome. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to help us out. And tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel. We may be able to help them as well. We also have physics and math videos on the channel with more subjects coming in the near future. So yeah, fun times. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.